Hello and welcome to another edition of the V Show. I am PA Patrick Austin. And look, this has been a ride. I hope you guys have been informed by some of the information that we're dishing out. Uh, some of the guests that we've had on, we give you a little bit of history. We give you a little bit of now. And then in all of this is about MVSU and us trying to fully fund our athletic department. All right. But before we get started tonight, I got a special guest again tonight. It was awesome. But before we get started, I want to thank our partners, uh, Capital City Beverages, Visit Jackson, Capital City Automotive, the GNC Mangino Stores, Muskelly Furniture, the MVSU NAA, and Vogue Home Furnishings. And we're actually working on the, to adding a few more to that, as I say all the time. And listen, you can always contribute via the email, uh, the website, which is www.mvsuvclub.com. All right. And that's for more information. Check us out. Give us a call. Email us, whatever, if you have an interest in helping our university. OK, so last week we spoke with our president, Hubert Owens. He gave a little historical perspective, you know, SEC referee, and he's seen a whole lot. Now, this brother that we're bringing on tonight or today or whenever you're watching, <laughs> uh, he has the same kind of experiences, but in a different manner. Well traveled from MVSU, from the Memphis area, which used to be a, a, just a true pipeline for our university. And before we we get go too far in it and, and I bring him in, um, we're going to use our PG language uh, today because we actually have off air conversations and, it, and it, you know, it's, it's pretty candid. But but in the same context, a lot of the times our thoughts and uh, our our feelings or some of the initiatives that we have or would like to see at, at MVSU are sometimes misunderstood because it, it's, it's, it's like we're being mean or negative and that's not the case this is not being critical uh these are only discussions and ideas and impressions that we are trying to use to push forward for our university you know this is not a, a poop on anyone that the, where we are is where we are period and we want to do whatever we can in our power to change that so the most misunderstood brother because he's a part of the i guess the quote unquote younger alumni man were you younger than me I guess you considered young. Uh, we have our very own MVSU alum, famous Amos Brazen. Brother Amos. How you doing? How you doing, bro? What's happening, <laughs> fam? Man, wonderful, wonderful. Man, you looking good. I, what you got open mic tonight? I know you 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 always turned up. So you taking time out of your schedule to rap with us, and we appreciate that, man. Most definitely, man. Always a, it's, it's always an honor, bro. Always. Uh, look, it, <laughs> all the way to the to the bus showing up on campus the, the tour bus is parking cocked out and sideways yes sir <laughs> and, and, and here's what's funny man a lot of the stuff you do you know uh can be considered controversial from an administrative standpoint you done went on and you done snapped out you know when you feel like you didn't have it up here with your facebook post and so some will say well pat why would you have him on the v show and see what i see instead of what others may see i see passion man and i'm just being real with you and after our conversations we want the same thing we want to see our university on top man right and you know you do. right you know um, go ahead brother hey, go ahead go ahead go ahead finish up go ahead finish oh no up. i was just saying because in the end the university has shaped us you know um so people know about me as far as any, anybody that follows the show but you know typically everything we've been doing is sports related so i'm finna jump outside the box a little bit they don't know how many followers you have i want you to tell them a little bit about your experiences at valley and then tell them what you do now and who you are now okay so people have to understand that man that school that environment the institution is the only family i had for like the past 15 years like I wasn't even going home on, you know, weekends because I didn't have a, you know, a, a stable family to go home to. So that's why, you know, I was around the, the institution so long. But all the things that I, you know, I created with my team, you know, at Valley, you know what I'm saying, is what, you know, I'm getting paid to do now, you know, professionally. And um, we have generated over almost, what, 4 million followers, me and iPod. Um, I'm part of also alumni, you know, Mississippi Valley. 
one of the, um, uh, the biggest DJs in the, probably the nation, you know, definitely probably the hottest DJ in the Mississippi. But um, man, we 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 was at the school when it was at its peak, when Dr. Newman had, you know, the enrollment up. Um, I marched in the band at Valley, um, temporarily tried to play football a little bit. Um, I was drum major at Valley from the year 2005 all the way up to 2000 and I want to say eight or nine, I can't exactly remember. And I was percussion sex leader in 2005. Um, I also helped started the uh, spirit group, uh, the Hellraisers, um, which was a, 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 a very, you know, interesting, you know, you know, culture, man, that we had. We used to get, you know, get kicked out of all the games because, you know, we would take it overboard. But, you know, and the swag, the swag is very hostile, so, you know, you needed that. But um, I, I saw so much, man. I experienced so much throughout them little 15 years of being around Valley, bro. Like, from administration changes repeatedly, you know, from the school about to be merged, you know, with Alcorn and Jackson, we went down to the Capitol, fought for the school to stay open. Man, from the switch of band directors, football coaches, the list goes on, you know, and it just really, you know, if you really love something that you're a part of, of course, you're going to, you're going to be passionate about it. If you're not, then you're just a person who just don't care, you know? So our, our action expressed the love that we had for the institution and people just didn't, you know, they couldn't comprehend with our expression. Right. And, and see, I, I, I understand that. I get it. And see, I know that plight. You and I have had many conversations. Right. And so to me, it's important that because um, see, the, the, the you got four and some change. I probably got four and some change uh, total. But mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the viewership is actually, you know, different per se right. uh, for the people who, who, will, who will watch this as compared to who will follow you on maybe your TikToks or your Instagrams. Or, but what I'm getting at is they need to understand why Valley means so much to you. And it's not just an old head thing. First of all, our university is not that old. Let, let's get right. this. Correct. But on the flip side of it, man, you know, we have passion about the place too. You know, speaking a little bit for me, when you leaving a junior college out on the West Coast in Pasadena and the come and all you see is cotton fields and bootleg whiskey, as far as you can see, it's a culture shock. But the one thing that was consistent was love. And that was from the administrators. That was from, man, I don't even remember people fighting on campus. Like it was all love. You know what I mean? And if it was, it was, it was a family kind of scuffle deal. It wasn't no, you know, we finna thug it in the streets kind of deal, man. And so um, you have grown. Congratulations on your platform, brother. I often joke about you being famous, Amos, and you more famous than the people's song that you made famous. Right. Who who performs that song, by the way? Um, actually, my boy, uh, Level and Mouse. You know, Mouse is known yeah. for all the trill entertainment boosting days. Gotcha. Um, for, um, productions or whatever. So he okay. produced a lot of them hits, a whole, whole lot. And see that that song was so catchy, man. And then to see you, the I remember the first one I saw. I was actually working. Um, I want to say this was either when I was leaving Callaway or Mississippi State, and they had you on Highway 82. Oh, I couldn't stop laughing. Yes, I, sir. This dude is a 100% clown. Yes, now, sir. That clowning has taken you other places, other schools. Tell, tell our viewers about some of the stuff that, you know, you've done at other institutions and environments you've been in. Um, So, man, I have toured just about every PWI, every HBCU. I get booked for um, black colleges more than anything. Right. And um, I actually had a TV show with BET, you know, we were doing a yeah, little yeah, yeah. college tour um, right. called the HBCU Tailgate Turnover, where we go to all the homecomings and, you know, show the, the people how homecoming is at those certain schools. Right. And um, Valley was the first school I chose, you know, matter of fact, on that TV series. You know, BET gave me the uh, all, you know, control, you know, what schools you want to go to. And I chose, you know, my institution to be the first one. But, um, man, the SWAC, the MEAC, the SEAC, the SEC, the Big Ten, bro, I didn't, I didn't did it all. And see, when you see our environment, because you was, you was at homecoming this year, Right. And it's like we missing so much, man. Yeah. And a lot of it don't cost money. And that, you know, don't get me wrong, I work for the university. So like I said, this ain't pointing fingers, but it's like 
the ideas that that we have and i know you and i talk about together is just i mean some so simple as the sound system working and the dj playing in between sets and right. you know even if you don't have a video board you got the you know the the uh, dance cam you know w- without a video board you can bring the greeks and sororities in let them hop let them stroll right. let them do all of that you know to bring an environment uh you know something that's popping some liveliness inside because yeah. they'll need that man what do you think some of the things that we could do to bring uh some of that back besides you to perform during with the band during the halftime show right i'm gonna want you to come back to do that for the record just definitely so okay this is the thing that i tell you know people that you know i'm in connection with um about our institution something that we don't do i don't think we have people who go out and and actually see what the other institutions are, are doing and bring those ideas back to our institution and enhance them in a way that's going to benefit us like homecoming you should definitely have the the alumni band presence you know what i'm saying you should have the greeks get more involved in what you do like i'm just been at their tree okay that's cool but get them involved in the games you know what i'm saying where they can come and stroll on the track you know what i'm saying while the band playing music and stuff like that um you know have it to where you know the the the, the environment is super involved because right now our homecoming is just a show up and say hey type of event Right. It's, it's not a it's no type of 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 memorable moment of homecoming at all we needed to be an organized block party is what you're correct. saying inside the stadium and correct. I, feel, I feel that and that's you know is if we as we can educate our people hopefully those days will come because you know like i said my memories and your memories at valley uh are all awesome and you right. know another thing i want to touch on you mentioned the greeks and the band to me, band and athletics go hand in hand and actually can drive a culture of the school. You know, <laughs> if our band numbers are hot, you know, that in return may end up helping athletics as far yeah. as recruiting, atmosphere, you know. And then I, I hate to be a chauvinist when I say this, and, and no offense to anybody, but men typically follow women. If you can get some women on campus, brothers soon will follow. I'm just they saying. Come. They you come. Know? Uh, and so with, with with athletics and band going hand in hand, what do you feel that are some of the things or the approaches that you've thought about that we could do to turn this thing around? One thing for sure, you get a good band program, your school is going to turn around. I'm t- the band is the biggest promotional tool at any black college, okay? No matter how you want to, you know, look at it. If Like, okay, for example, I'm going to use Jack State, for example. The Sonic Boom brand is so big. Like, they football team can be having a losing season. But the presence of the Boom is what's going to keep those ticket sales at a peak. Because they brand is just that powerful. You know, at Valley, we don't have that type of, that, that type of, 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 like, recognition when it comes to the main green. Now, we once did now. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. Back in the Tramiel days, you know, of course, they was coming to see the main green. But those old days been gone over two decades almost. So once we 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 understand the whole idea of marketing, I guarantee you our school would completely turn around. We have to know how to compete with the school. Even and it don't like you just said a moment ago, it don't take that much money to do that. It it's all about just, you know, making the right decision, putting the right people in those positions to change the culture of, you know, of, of that area. I, I got one. I got an idea that we embrace all of the, the, the former band members, bring them in, have a form, hold court, and then give you guys the tools to go out and actually help promote. Because you know how many people we have in band director positions that's alumni or music man. teachers or high school teachers, you know, that can actually reach out and touch kids and send them to our Oasis in the Delta right off 82. You know the, my, my band director, Marston Valley from See Northside High School. And we are, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. So we need to give you guys the tools and equip y'all with the the right information, what tuition or cost. You know, if you get full financial aid, what you're gonna be short. If you have to take out a loan, because all of that matters, and that's what people want to know. You know what I mean? But and, and when we get them here, we gotta support them. But I'm all for it, man. And and, and you know, uh, we still working on on that direction of the band thing right now, and you know from where i stand personally 
I'm willing to do whatever it takes because I understand what that atmosphere mean is. You know, that working right. with the Vikings and, and that Mississippi State taught me this. It don't matter necessarily all the time, especially at the professional level, what you're putting on the field. These teams can go 0-16, 0-17, but you are going to have a performance. I mean, mm -hmm. from the, the entrances, the smoke, the sound, the horns, the the proposals, the the toy giveaways, the kid zones, the, the the adult beverages. I mean, it's it's a show, and it has to be there. And I think we can do that collectively together, um, yes. and and influence. You know, people getting the word out matters, man. You know, you mentioned that you got a, a, a over, a, you know, close. Is it four million or close to four million? Close, close, yeah. Close, okay, so. I, I said this at the previous show, man, finances are relative, right? So just think about this. If every one of your followers gave $1, $2, $5 of value, do they not really understand they could change the trajectory of our university, man? Correct. I mean, j just for, we always talking about fully funded athletics, man, we really need about 2.3 on an annual basis to get that. But hey, we could do that if we had the the full allotment to go play money games like some of the other institutions now we're working on some things you know trying to you know be strategic with our scheduling and uh possibly playing the first game of the year before everybody at a mutual site that way you know you get people you know supporting because it's coming off of the summer and then doing it at night too would be oh, a different yeah. feel because then you can get your tv your tv involved you can get uh, you know, other sponsorships and stuff involved, but, but we got to make this thing entertaining, man. And I don't care if it takes uh, little tigers running and jumping through hoops with little devils on fire and us with the fire department. We, we got to create a show. And uh, I'm going to challenge you that as we grow, as we grow, I'm going to challenge you to come back and help us get that done, man. I, I really am. Um, and then I want you to implore to your people, man, when you can, man, tell them to give. You know, if, even if the V Club is not their thing, give them to the band, give, give it to the university, man. All, all the stuff is on the website because in the end, we need it, man. We yeah. need it, bro. And I don't, I don't mind helping my institution, man. It, see, it's not the, it's not the institution that I have an issue with. It's yeah. certain people. I, I, that's, I that's, yeah, I love my, I love my school, man, a lot. I'm telling you, it, because <laughs> when, when you didn't have family. That was right. your family. And so you ride or die for your family. And see, oh, that's what I go back to the passion part. Because when you see, you feel like people degrading your family that's in a, a, a position of power that makes shots. Right. I, I know you want to go for the jugular, man. So look, yeah. um, you need to put out there, though. Tell them people to spend $5, man. Send $5. You know, PayPal and uh stripe gonna take their funds man send, tell them to send five dollars to the v club so hey, we get the same fund right I, I, show, I show got the power to do so look <laughs> and i got a crazy idea too man and, and uh -huh. we gotta figure out a way to, to make this work we're gonna talk on and get with crystal and uh some of the folks on the team to, to figure out how we can make this work we okay. need to do some form of a challenge man since everything is online right right a group on campus, whether it's a sorority, whether it's a band, whether it's whatever. It could be the badminton uh, spade players or something, whatever. If they raise the most money, I want you to do a production with them and y'all post that thing together on our Bet You Won't kind of video style. Yeah. You know, them out there. You willing to do that, man? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Like, do, do keep in mind, I, I have the whole term, I bet you won't trademark. So you right. can always start to tell, like, I bet you won't donate to the V Club or I bet you won't donate to Valley, anything in that, that nature. So, you know, and, and see that that right there. But see, I was even thinking, like, can you imagine what it would be for a high school, whether it's Greenville, Greenwood, for you to go over, perform with them because they was able to put put together and raise money. And see, my ideas are just so off the charts, man, you know, like. Right. I wasn't able to attend. We just had our baby girl. I wasn't able to attend last week's game. You know, I streamed and watched and did that that thing and got updates minute by minute. But um, the thing is, is like on those days that we're going to have short attendance, man, blow this mm -hmm. thing out. Make it a high school day, you know. Get everybody in the Delta to show up and then let's show out and have some fun on campus. You know, right. uh, we have to bring that. And I know it's about academics and not about partying. 
But atmosphere really? matters, man. And, and, and look, I tell people all the time, look, it's it's already self-explanatory that kids know where they come, they why they come to college. They coming for education, number one, of course. Right. But you're not finna sell nobody on coming to an institution that's in the cotton field who just came from a big city like Chicago or or from like, you know, Detroit. Like you really gotta sell that to them. So atmosphere is it, it, it plays a major role. And and you gotta be able to explain to them how they fit. Cause see everybody yeah. don't wanna come and sit down and wait. Some people wanna come now and have an impact. I mean, I can go walk up front now and and, and like you said, you was you, you were section leader early in right. your career, the university. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. um we we have to sell the appeal. We have to let people know who we are and we gotta hang our hat on something, man. And um I, I, I appreciate you. I appreciate your efforts. You know, I, I know you give even out your own pocket. And uh, I want you to do what you can to encourage others as well, man. Um, and I know you got to get off and, and, and get rolling, man. You have anything else that you want to say to the people viewing or, or, or following us today? Man, I'm, I'm ready to move forward, man. Like, whatever I can do with any department, just let me know. Um, I'm, my ears are always open. Just let me know, you know, and, and he's only a short drive, folks. He, he, home oh. base is Memphis for him. So, you know, we need to get him on campus. We can make that happen. Most definitely. Famous Amos, not the cookies. Yes, sir. Man, I appreciate you. <laughs> no, most definitely, man. Anytime, you know, it's love, man. Man, no doubt. And, and look, if you need anything on my end, don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you again for your time, brother. Anytime, bro. All right. All right. All right. Take care, though. That was once again our brother, the famous Amos, 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 you know. Um, and so at this point, we're going to wrap it up again. Look, for more information, uh, MVSUVclub.com. And we want to thank our contributors and supporters. Visit Jackson, Capital City Beverages, Capital City Automotive, the MVSUNAA, Muskelly Furniture. Uh, uh, Vogue Furnishing, GNC Mangino Stores. Thank you for all that you do and continue to help us make this thing happen. And we're going to work, work, work till we can get it done. Until next week, we'll see you again. We got something special lined up, a little multi-generational kind of thing. Looking forward to seeing you then. Thank you. Peace.